Hi everybody, it's Deborah from Queen Bee Studio and today I'm here with a little organizational hint, I guess you'd call it. I've been zooming around picking up Spectrum Noir markers from everywhere that I can find and I can't find too many places here in Arizona. I've actually been ordering them offline as I can afford them, of course. So now that I have a collect, quite a collection of them going, I needed some place for them uh, to be stored. And when I was looking at some videos most recently, I saw one idea that I really liked on Page with Panache's site, and I'm going to put her link below, where she had them stacked up in a CD holder and just used the CDs as the little shelves and I thought that was such a great idea it didn't take up a lot of room well I've been having a hard time finding them and I very much am into reuse and repurpose and I had remembered that when I went to my clip it organizational system I had undone some photo boxes that I was actually storing um, stickers and things of that nature in and I broke down the boxes but I saved them so here's one of the storage photo storage things oops sorry about that and you can see they're just clear plastic so I thought well that'd work it's the same principle as Paige's idea except that when I stood them up and you can see and started placing markers on them Sorry about the noise. Uh, they collapse. So I thought, well, that's not good. So what I ended up doing, just let me get this one out of the way, because yes, I have several of them, was taking the lid off, and I actually um, glued them in with my handy-dandy glue gun. And all I did was put some glue on the end right here and the other end. And I put glue in the little uh, piece that goes up on the top that fits into the slot. And a little bit of glue in the slot. And guess what? It worked. Now they stay there. And as you can see, I can put all my markers in. And hopefully I will get this in some type of order that I can understand because that's usually my biggest issue. Now the other thing is I can't quite decide, haven't made up my mind yet, if I wanted to not put the final shelf in because my thought was I could actually slip in some paper or projects that I'm working on and have them right there nice and convenient. Now don't pay any attention to my coloring girls because I've just started doing this so I, I'd hit the ignore button but I haven't got one. And what I plan on doing with my color chart and be sure if you print out a color chart for anybody's markers that you actually um, color it in on the paper that you're going to be using and I'm going to share that with you in just a second too. Um, but anyway, I'm, I think I'm going to cut this in half so that I'll be able to fold it and um, put it in my top shelf also. So because I have a lot of these, well three of them, I should be able to fit all of their their markers. So, just a second, I'm going to stop the video for a minute and I'm going to show you the paper that I use. Okay, so thanks for waiting. I went and grabbed the paper. I actually had written a few people here on YouTube and they were nice enough to tell me that what they used. And um, the one that I had decided to go with was the paper that Steph uses and I'm going to put her link below. She recommended to me this Neha Exact Index paper. It's made by Wausau and it is 8.5 by 11. 
you it's 110 pounds you get 250 papers to the um, little hoo-ha of them and I actually purchased mine on Amazon where I found it for around uh, 12 or 13 dollars somewhere in there so it was extremely affordable and you can see that uh, it doesn't run and it's there's very little bleeding on the back side I don't get a lot of that or feathering as they call it so again you know here's a neat little way to do your storage I'm probably gonna leave the lids off but if I want to move them or find that my workspace is too crowded I can put the lid on and throw them in a closet if I'm not using markers so I thought you all would enjoy that thanks so much for watching comments are always appreciated thanks and have a great day